Welcome to the Simply Smart Business Show with me, Gemma Went. I wanted to talk about all of these kind of big launches that um, and products and so on that that claim to be like the the secret sauce to success and the 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 perfect framework for success or the roadmap to success um, and the things that claim to be like the the silver bullet that will make everything amazing um, because there isn't one right the, a lot of these things are claiming to be these things because it's marketing. Um, but there isn't one. These people have had success with those things, and that is absolutely true. But that doesn't mean it can be replicated for every single person because there are too many variables and there are too many nuances. Um, so I see a lot of people paying for products and training, um, thinking that they're going to get the same level of success as the person that is launching it. And I think that is rarely possible because there are just too many nuances and too many variables. Um, and that's not to say that these things don't work, because I think they do. You know, I've, I've bought into some of these things and they've been really good for me and they've helped me with my my own kind of development of my own frameworks and my own strategies and the way that I do things. Um, but I, there is no secret source. Like the only thing, the only thing that I have seen in all of my years of doing business and all of my dealings with very successful people, the only thing that kind of ties them together is turning up every day and taking consistent action. And really that's it. For me, that's the only strand that flows through every successful person. They keep on going, no matter whether they fail or not, they keep on going. And most people have failed. And they this is where they learn what works for them. Yet, a lot of people I see, they will try something, they fail, and they're like, oh, my God, I'm rubbish. That's it. I'm stopping everything. I'm getting a job. I'm not going to do it. The people that are successful don't do that. The people that are successful go, they hate it, obviously, and go, oh, crap, got it wrong. But then they think about it, and they use it as a lesson, and they move on to the next thing, or they improve what they've got, and they move on forward, and they keep moving forward, and they keep moving forward, and they keep moving forward, because that's the only way to do it. So, and there are different ways of doing it. There is no one way of being successful. There is no one framework that does it. You know, I have my frameworks that have been successful for me, and those are what I teach, but I teach them as a guideline. Like, I encourage people to go outside of that and be creative and bring in their own stuff and kind of do whatever they want, tweak with tweak it to, to make it work for them because I think there are too many variables, there are too many nuances between us all that you know you can't just layer on a framework and then expect the same result at the end because there just there are too many variables for that to happen. And success doesn't depend on one thing. You know, I I saw a really interesting study. Um, from someone that w was looking at um, all of kind of the big online entrepreneurs and the successful big online entrepreneurs and what makes them uh, most successful. And there, there was a trend amongst the, the biggest that actually they just sell one thing. They don't have all the multiple streams of income that a lot of us talk about. They just sell one thing and they stick to that one thing and that's what's made it made them big and made them successful and they've improved it and they've tweaked it and they've moved it forward and they've worked on it. They haven't kind of jumped and gone to the next shiny new thing. They've stuck with that thing. And if you look at the examples of that, if you look at Kim Raluna and her, her product, look at Denise Duffel Thomas. Um, so there are lots of people out there that are really successful just for selling one amazing thing because they've really worked on it. Carrie Green is another brilliant example. She sells, she sells sells a membership site, and it's it's phenomenal and it's brilliant, and she's really worked on that. So there is no there is no like it's not you have to have one idea or you have to have multiple income streams. You've got to try what works for you, and you've got to keep trying. Um, so don't think that there is one magic solution. The only solution is to keep on trying 
and to turn up every day and take consistent action and learn from failures and don't make them personal because they're not like you've got to learn how to deal with those things and turn them around to move you forward because that's what makes you a better person that's what makes you a lot richer and a lot deeper and a lot more knowledgeable because you've gone through those things and you've learned from it and you know what not to do going forward and then those are the things you can teach other people it's certainly like all the stuff that I teach it also is as well as based on my successes and what's worked for me it's based on my failures as well it's like holy crap don't try this i did it was dreadful it's all based on that and that really really helps so i just wanted to talk about that because i just think it's a really interesting topic and i think we can be so seduced by all of these wonderful frameworks and systems and roadmaps and i have my own don't get me wrong i'm not dissing them you know my freebie that i am sharing with you is my roadmap to creating a lead engine, right? So I'm not saying it's the, the be all and end all and that's the thing that's gonna get you success, but it is the thing that I've used that brings in consistent leads into my business, so I'm teaching you that. I'm not telling you that's like that your silver bullet or the secret source to success, I'm giving you that as that's something that's worked for me for many years. So I'm not dissing these frame, frameworks, but what I am saying is go in with an open mind and don't be seduced by the numbers and the successes and the examples because that doesn't happen for everybody so go in and if you think it will work for you then by all means use it but don't feel like crap if you don't have the same success as other people because I don't think that is always possible I think um, that as I said there are too many variables and too many nuances for that to be possible um, so just go into it with an open mind because um, I, I, I what I worry about is people feeling bad about themselves that they didn't get the same results after investing in something because I don't think it's about them I, I, it's not about them it's just it can't work for everybody and you need to kind of tweak and change things to, to work with you in the way that you do things and I think that is really really important but but the thing that does work is showing up every day and being consistent and keeping on moving forward because action of action it loves action and you're likely to get more results um if you do that so there is no one silver bullet um but just keep on trying keep on failing keep on learning and keep moving forward that is the only thing that's what i've done and that's that's what's worked for me and i think that's the thing that, that would work for everybody thank you for listening